Hello everyone, welcome to Hyrander S3 tutorial. In this video, I will introduce how to do projection fusion in Hyrander S3. First, let's shoot add a screen. In this situation, we will use add local screen. Let's open add local screen and choose two cameras that connect it to our server. Press OK. We could see that the two cameras have already added into our screen. Click on the Enable Detection in the Display Preference. We could see the serial number will show on different screens. We can see that the screen 3 is on the left side and screen 2 is on the right side. So let's drag the screen 3 to the left side and screen 2 to the right side. Let's close the display. Click on connect and drag a grid image to the timeline. Let's adjust the left screen first. Double click on the screen. Choose geometry. Choose align mode. Because our projector was at the left side to project the position on the right, so we will use the perspective mode. If your projector on the left and project the picture on the left, you can use the linear mode. For the curved screen, you can use the advanced mode. Select the vertex, use the arrow key to move and adjust the picture. We can just hide the right picture to adjust the left first. Try to adjust the grid image as same as the project image. Then let's adjust the right projector as same as the left projector. Just to align both projector, make the image looks like the same. Next, we will adjust the fusion band. Add a white image into the timeline. Double click on the left screen. Choose screen. Choose geometry. Fusion. Choose left fusion. Click on sync. Move the fusion band to cover the overlapped part. OK. And click on the left sc screen. Click on Fusion. This time we will add a right fusion band. Click on Sync and adjust that to cover the overlapped area. OK, let's adjust the resolution width to fit our two projectors. Drag a media into the program and play. We could see the project fusion has been already set. That's all for today's tutorial. See you next video.